How do you move through things when things are challenging for you? It's one of the strug biggest struggles that everybody has, I think. I see it in myself, I see it in others, even some of the most evolved people that I know have challenges moving through things on occasion. But here's a couple things after the show reel that I would recommend that can really help you. Simple, easy tips to make it through. Number one, this seems so silly, but actually just put a smile on your face. Like seriously, when we smile, our brain actually starts releasing different chemicals. So no matter how crappy you feel, if you can find something to be grateful for, just something, the fact that you're alive, the fact that you have food on the table, even if it's just rice, the fact that the sun is shining, and it's giving you opportunity. It's growing the things around you. So you can find even one or two things to be grateful for, that you have shelter, that you have a pet, that you have a family. Do you see how just smiling and settling into that feeling of what you do have can not only help you manifest more beautiful things, but it can start changing your brain chemistry so some of those things that are more challenging have solutions, right? So let me tell you a story. I've had some really big computer challenges lately and it got me like in this funk because I'm like, why is my computer not working? Why is everything going wrong? And it was really easy to be pouty and bitch at everybody and like, oh my God, my computer and blah, blah, blah. And then what I realized is the more that I did that, cause it's not my typical state, is the more things kept happening to me. It's like as if the universe was saying like, chill out. This is your reminder that nothing is that big of a deal, even when it seems so. Number two, keep on moving when it's the hardest. Do you know that our body grows the most when we're under stress? Think about it. If you're working out, where do you get the growth? It's when you're lifting a heavier weight. It's when you're doing those extra couple of push-ups. It's when you're running that extra half a mile. When your body says, I can't take it anymore, and you keep going, that's when you build strength. The same thing happens mentally, right? So when you don't wanna do something, you don't wanna go to work, you don't wanna do your homework, you don't wanna have that conversation with your partner. When you push yourself to do it, it helps you grow. It helps your brain remember that it can overcome every challenge. It helps the universe around you know that you will push through, that you are strong enough to manifest anything that you want and that no matter what challenge it puts in your way, because no matter what path you take, it's gonna put a challenge in your way to test you, to help you grow, to help you become more. So you're telling the universe that, yes, I can take this. I want that career. I want that perfect relationship. I want and deserve everything I'm asking for to help people to be a better person, to have a stronger community, to fulfill my life purpose. Wouldn't that be great? Imagine now fulfilling your life purpose just because you pushed through in those moments when it was really, really tough and challenging and crappy and you thought, why am I doing this? I may as well just give up, right? That's your moment of biggest breakthrough, so stick through it. Number three, just do small little things. So imagine this, like, you look at nature, right? Look at the birds. They're building a nest. They can't find string. They can't find the right kind of material for their nest. They just go out and they go farther. They can't food, find food for their young. They go out and they do more. They go and go and go to make sure that their species survives, to make sure that they have shelter, to make sure that they have food. We do that as well as humans, right? You look at people that are struggling that are challenged financially, they will do absolutely anything to feed their kids. Even if that means sleeping in a car, even if that means sleeping in a dumpster, even if that means begging for food on the side of the road, right? They will do anything. And we get to a point where I think we get a little spoiled. You know, food's easy, shelter's easy. And we start going, oh, 
this is kind of hard. I don't want to do it. Instead of once again, combining almost one and two, right? Being grateful for what we have, pushing through those things and realizing that something good is right around the next corner. So really focusing on what it is that we want and looking at what are the small steps it takes to get there and any forward progress you make is progress. Right? So look at what's the next thing I can do today to make progress and then smile. I'm making progress. I don't have the abundance that I want today. I don't have the perfect partnership today, but I'm making progress. And as a little bonus, self-love, right? One must love oneself first because the universe sees and feels everything you're putting out there. And if really internally you feel like I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm not doing enough, I'm not smart enough, people don't like me, that's what you're putting out to the universe. That's actually what you're teaching it, no matter how much you're doing in manifestation or no matter much you're praying. If you're praying an hour a day, but the other 23 hours of a day, you feel like shit, like you're not worth anything. What do you think is going to come to you? The thing that you're doing for one hour, or the thing that you're doing for 23 hours. So find a way, love yourself, smile, do something little, no matter how hard it is, something that moves you towards your goal. I'm here with you. Subscribe to my other videos. Comment below right now. I'm going to do it right now. Help the universe manifest for you.